Welcome to the intake. Hi guys, I'm Crystal Joseph, owner of Psych Your Mind and author of Pound Cake in Private Practice, and this is the intake. Here in this mini video series, I'm going to have a sit down with you all and give you the opportunity to have questions answered that you've always wanted to know from your fellow therapist or me in particular. So over the past couple of weeks, you guys have been sending me questions. I've jotted them down and here is my response. So this first video is an introduction video. So it's going to be the I in intake. And we're going to talk a little bit about uh, who I am, uh, what Psych Your Mind is to me, and what an average day looks like for me. So with that being said, uh, it's about 10 in the morning, you know, you see the sun, what have you. Um, I am a bit of a night owl, so I do tend to sleep later. Uh, therapists typically work in the evenings, depending. I work in the daytime as well for uh, flexibility of my clients, but my day doesn't end until 8 p.m., 9 p.m. So I come home, I decompress, probably up until like midnight, one o'clock. And so I get my seven to eight hours of sleep, which means I don't particularly touch my phone, return phone calls or do any of that before 10 a.m. So I am a bit structured and regimented when it, when it comes to things of that nature. So from an administrative standpoint, what a lot of people don't know is, yes, we see clients face to face, we interact face to face, but there is a lot of administrative duties and tasks associated with being a therapist. So when you don't see me as your therapist in session with you, I'm doing notes, I'm returning phone calls, I'm returning emails, I'm networking and doing consultations, I'm in the community, uh, I'm doing research on your case. Uh, some people have very complex issues. Um, so if I don't pick up my phone or if I don't return your email immediately, it's because I'm doing all those other things. So when you look at the breakdown of a day, the average American is supposed to work eight hours a day, right? Well, I'm putting in probably about eight to 10 hours a day. Now that doesn't mean I'm not team, hashtag team no sleep, I love my sleep, but that also means that if I don't work, I don't eat. So I have to divide my time, just like the president would with the uh, diplomat, um, foreign diplomacy, as well as domestic diplomacy. We have to divide our time amongst our direct contact as well as our indirect contact to preserve the business. So basically, um, I spend about two to four hours a day on administrative tasks. Um, not every day though. Um, I only work four days a week and um, that helps me create a balance as far as what I'm doing professionally and what I'm doing personally. Um, so that's a little bit about how I divide my day. Uh, some people have asked, uh, do uh, I work out? When am I going to start to work out? So I love music. Um, I enjoy dancing. So I have to be distracted from the pain <laughs> from me sweating. <laughs> so dance class is a thing for me. Um, I have lifted weights in the past, but I mean, you know, that's neither here nor there. And um, that's pretty much it. anything that there's music, I'm, I'm down for it. Uh, so that's a little bit about like the offside when I'm not in the office, what am I doing? So I'm either in the community, at an event, or I'm doing laundry, which you guys can't see off camera because I'm doing laundry. <laughs> um, so I definitely wanted to get to you guys uh, with, your, with the answers to your questions. Also, um, I am the author of Pound Cake in Private Practice, five things I learned during my first year. So that's where I talk about the nitty gritty and the nuances of starting a practice from scratch or making a practice from scratch if you want to go along with the metaphor of cooking a cake or baking a cake. And in this book, I talk about the five ingredients, flour, eggs, butter, sugar, and vanilla that are typically used in a base recipe of pound cake. Now, understand that everybody's recipes are different. You know, grandma's is different than auntie's, than yours. You know, y'all switched up the spices and the type of extract you're using, and that's fine, that's okay. So it's not a cookie cutter, this is what you do to start private practice. 
However, it's a cautionary tale of my story of what to look for, what not to do, what to do to keep you going. Uh, so we are in the business of people, we are in the business of helping, and so sometimes that gets convoluted with uh, the politics of the business or am I making what I need to make to keep my nose above water and what about the schooling and what about licensure and those applications. So I address all of that in this book. So if you haven't gotten it yet, make sure you check it out. It's at poundcakeandprivatepractice.com. If you want to learn more about me and Psych Your Mind, it's psychyourmind.com. There's no H on Psych. Speaking of that, why did you take the H off of Psych? Uh, I didn't like the way it looked. <laughs> That's the honest answer. Um, it, the H uh, changed the way the word uh, was viewed to me aesthetically. I didn't, I didn't care for it. So instead, I, I removed the H and I put the exclamation point. And that's what you guys see in my logo. Um, so hopefully that answers a bit of your introductory questions about the practice, about me personally, but definitely come back in this mini series and I will address more answers to your questions. But thank you for tuning in to the intake with me, Crystal Joseph, licensed clinical professional counselor in Maryland, licensed professional counselor in Virginia, and I'm also a board certified case manager. Stay tuned for more. Thanks.